Okay, welcome everybody. Um, a little bit of a late start, but this is the meeting of the Hadley um, Economic Housing and Economic Development Committee. Um, it is April 18th, and we're getting started at 6:10. We just um, were able to gain a quorum. Um, want to take the agenda a little out of order, but uh, first thing I want to do is just say who's present. Um, so for the committee, we have Bill Dwyer, myself, Molly Keegan, Justin Pelland, Emma Dragon, and Amy Fiden, um, and then Tony Maroulis is a non-voting member of the committee. Okay. Um, Bill, I think there was something that you wanted to take up um, earlier in the meeting. Yeah, I just wanted to mention a couple of things uh, on the Affordable Housing Trust Fund. I did watch the uh, recording of the prior meeting, and um, there was a little bit of uh, overly optimistic. The uh, balance in the Affordable Housing Trust Fund is uh, $481,500 and some change. And um, uh, a higher number was mentioned at the prior meeting. It, it's the 481, not the higher number. Um, and we know that we'll probably get, um, if, if and when uh, Valley CDC does pull together its plans for the Econo Lodge, they had indicated at the outset that they would be certainly approaching the town about a contribution. And the Affordable Housing Trust Fund is the most likely source for that contribution. So um, it's not unspoken for, it's, um, but it's not committed to anything as of yet. Okay. And yeah. then just as a bit of, uh, just as a minor update, uh, I know that uh, Ken Comia has been uh, a little uh, Hard. He, he's been promoted at Pioneer Valley Planning Commission, so he has more duties, <clears throat> and I know he's been away uh, because I get um, bounce messages when I send him emails. So uh, Molly and I have not connected with him, but he had reached out to us and suggested mm -hmm. that it would be a good idea for us to have a conference call or, or a Zoom or whatever, but uh, that's that remains in progress. Yeah, so that's for the housing forum. Um, so what Bill and I will try to do then um, is connect with Ken and, and see what his calendar looks like. You know, he was saying over the, you know, the month of May, but it's at this point now it's going to be two. That's not enough lead time for us to pull this off, you know, because we still need to line up all the other people who are planning on it, um, participating. So <clears throat> we'll, um, Bill and I will see what we can do in terms of trying to nail Ken down on availability and then come back to this committee and see if we can um, get another date nailed down for that. But in all likelihood, it's going to be, you know, later in the year at this point. Now, <clears throat> one thing that I would um, put out there, uh, um, as you saw from the scope of work for the 40R uh, grant, there is a public education component of that as well. And much of what we have been talking about would also segue nicely into that, but um, I'm not working on that particular subcommittee. Uh, Mark Dunn is the chair of that one. Um, and I'm not sure what he's set up as a meeting schedule yet, but we'll make sure and Justin, you'll be on the 40R committee. So we'll make sure that Mark is aware and that Kyle from Pioneer Valley Planning Commission is aware that we have already been working on a educational program that might mesh nicely with what they're going to be looking at doing. I can uh, offer as way of an update. Mark is scheduling the first meeting. I think he's trying to shoot for mm -hmm. next week or the week after. So I did see some emails going mm -hmm. out about that. Good. Next couple of weeks, you said, Justin? Yeah, I'm trying to find the email. There was a, I think it was the 29th is what they were proposing. But I yeah, we have um, we have a five Tuesday month, which gives him a um, a free week from 
planning board. It doesn't get the, the select board. Ha, it may uh, Wednesday, May 1st is the next select board meeting, but May 7th is the next planning board meeting. Okay. All right. Thank you for that. Um, <clears throat> and then again, I'm sorry, I'm taking the agenda out of order, but Bill, uh, we just went through the warrant last night at the select board meeting. So the battery storage is the planning board article. Yes. Uh, coming up, right? Correct. That is the, the only article that we are bringing in for annual town meeting. Okay. All right. Um, so we did ask that the, the warrant be put out on the town website. So it should actually, I don't, I didn't look today to see if it was up, but um, I'd encourage everybody to um, read through that battery storage article. <laughs> Um, exciting though it is, a uh, lot of lot of confusion about it, I'm sure, but um, I suspect that that may be uh, provoking an awful lot of conversation on town meeting floor. So yep, sure. there's definitely a so in a nutshell, <clears throat> prior town council rendered an opinion that a battery only storage facility was not a solar facility under the definition of our bylaw. And so um, the state is actively encouraging battery storage sites to supplement the grid, whether it be from solar production during the day, from wind production or other alternative energy sources. So given that the state is pushing it, given that uh, just say no doesn't seem to be an option, we worked on developing a bylaw that would uh, allow battery only storage with some constraints, especially in the light of all the reports of runaway lithium battery fires. Uh, there's just something in the globe today about that. Um, so, most of them are in smaller devices, cars or tools and not uh, commercial storage, but um, it gets a little complicated because uh, we do, we have permitted some battery storage facilities already in town as adjuncts to existing solar fields. And apparently the university has uh, established a lithium storage battery only facility on its campus, um, but that is exempt from local zoning. Um, so we have a bylaw that will create uh, authorization to host battery storage facilities in the industrial district and in the agricultural residential district, but not in uh, portions of those districts that are under the aquifer protection overlay. So that if there are fires or leaks or firefighting related leaks for floods of water, wherever the water goes, it won't go into the aquifer. Uh, so that's it in a nutshell. The rest of it is painful detail about how far away from uh, the fire hydrant should be from the battery storage facility and the like. So, Coming soon to a goes. town meeting near you. Yep. <laughs> okay, thanks, Bill. Um, okay, so just kicking back to the agenda. Um, Tony, do you want to provide an update on the university project? Sure. Um, I do believe that the committee has been invited to a um, to the next presentation uh, of the um, Hampshire Mall uh, reimagining uh, that the uh, junior architecture and landscape architecture studios have been working hard on this last semester. So that will be on May 8th 
from 1 to 345. Uh, that'll be in the design building atrium in the commons there. And uh, it looks like, uh, Molly, I know that you're going to be there. Justin, you'll be there as well. Um, but I but I know that the invitation has been extended to the rest of the committee, or I believe it has been. Mm -hmm. um, that is from 1 to 345 that day. Um, you know, we're excited. The, the university is supporting the project and uh, for the um, and uh, hope to have the chancellor there um, at, at some point uh, during the presentation. So I can't wait to see what the students have come up with. I know that some of you have already seen it, um, but it should be really exciting. And I think uh, we're really hopeful that it helps. Um, this beginning part of the project helps spur the conversation around what possibilities could look like uh, at the ha Hampshire Mall site in the future. So that's the quick update. Um, and I, I think uh, post that uh, presentation, we'll have a lot to talk about at the next meeting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, looking forward to it. I know I'm I'm I couldn't commit to going, but uh, was really excited for the invitation. I'm I'm still trying to get that time off from work, which is challenging, but um, it's just it's really great to see some progression there. What I will say is uh, I, I was there yesterday uh, for just a mid review with the students and they do document all of their work and they, they post it online internal to the UMass program. Uh, I'm sure that we can get copies of their final boards once they're done. So if people can't attend, we can at least see the material. Yeah, that'll be great. Um, okay, so I think we've gone through most of the agenda items. Uh, I have open meeting law on here. Um, so you'll note at the beginning of this, I made sure that I acknowledged who was present from the committee. Um, I failed to do that at uh, the last meeting and it was pointed out to me. <laughs> so um, it's always good to get reminders. It's nice to know that people are watching these meetings. Um, so I'm just going to ask all of you to, to uh, try to keep me honest. Um, at that meeting, we took a vote that really should have been a roll call vote um, because we're 100% remote on Zoom. Um, the vote was to appoint Justin to the 40R committee. Um, I would repeat that vote tonight, but we also have different members present. Um, I think the most important thing is just for me to acknowledge the fact that um, uh, I have been refreshed um, as the chair of the committee uh, and a reminder of making sure that we do do these uh, roll calls and announcements to the public as appropriate. So I'm very much committed to making sure that happens going forward. Uh, so again, just, well, just, to... just to be sure that uh, I'll, I'll make a motion to appoint Justin to the uh, uh, 40R study committee from this as a representative of this committee. Okay, yeah, right. No, no reason we can't do it again. Um, is there a second for that? I'll, I'll do a second. Second? Okay. Um, all in favor? Aye. You want to do a roll call? Yeah. Yeah, we'll Let's do a roll, roll call. Yeah, uh, so Amy, you're okay. Aye. Great. Emma? Aye. Bill? Aye. Justin? Aye. Okay, and I'm an aye as well. Okay. So thank you for that. So we are, we now have a legal vote. <laughs> right. um, and then I just wanted to check on, um, I'm not aware of any unforeseen items unless anybody has anything. And otherwise looking for any items for future discussion anybody might be interested in. Um, I was thinking it would be great to get an update from Bill. Uh, seems like there are a fair number of projects in front of the planning board right now. And if um, perhaps on our next agenda, we could just do a little bit of a, a quick summary of that bill, if you don't mind. Back to economic development. Exactly, yeah. Anything else anybody wants to talk about? Um, I mean, I, this is, you know, not something that's I know commonly in meetings and stuff like that. Um, I know I, I still maintain my, my legal name as Emma. Dragon, um, but just for everyone to know, preferred pronouns are they, she, and um, like E or or dragon is just preferred. I'm not sure how that that nuance in terms of like 
you know, legal meetings like this in terms of being within our our statute and everything, but just so everybody knows. So we're out there. Thank you for the reminder, dragon. <laughs> um, um, we're all yeah. doing our that's how I view it. Yeah, yeah. But uh no, that's a good I and what threw me was the E in front of the dragon now. Well, <laughs> Because just the dragon, you know, so many people were having a lot of challenges with it. I was like, fine, I'll put an initial in front. Like if if people really need to be concrete with the two things to to feel like we're we're doing our thing, like that's fine. So, but uh, just appreciate everybody trying their best, and and I know um, it it can be challenging to adjust to. So thanks everybody. Okay, absolutely. I will so, make a motion to adjourn. Okay. Is there a second? I'll second. Okay. Roll call vote. Bill? Aye. Justin? Aye. Amy? Yes. Dragon? Aye. All right. Then I'm an eye as well. Tony, thanks for joining us as always. Do I have no say in the you know vote to adjourn or? No, no you're supposed to stay on the meeting until next, <laughs> next week. Yeah. Do I abstain? <laughs> I'll leave the meeting running for you, Tony. <laughs> Thanks, Bill. All right, everybody have a good night, and we will see you next month.